Sheridan Smith earned a staggering £300,000 after starring in a series of lockdown TV shows. The actress, 40, also put her £1.5 million mansion on the market, which was predicted to fetch her a profit of £250,000 on top of her fortune. According to records from her firm Barking Mad Productions, Sheridan banked £227,654 and is owed £66,341, bringing her up to a total of £293,995 by the end of the year in April 2021. She stunned in her critically acclaimed performance in Four Lives as Sarah Sack, the mother of Anthony Walgate, who was the first victim of serial killer Stephen Port. Then she played Jenna Garvey in Channel 5's The Teacher, who was accused of having a drunken sexual encounter with one of her students. The actress then starred as Kathy in the ITV drama No Return. Sheridan first made a name for herself after playing Rudy and Gavin and Stacy from 2007. Then she appeared in the royal family as well as two pints of lager and a packet of crisps. Sheridan embodied Scylla Black in Scylla and Lisa Lynch in The C-Word. Earlier this year it was revealed that she split from her on-off boyfriend Alex Waller. She will be returning to the screen for the new Sky series Rosie Malloy Gives Up Everything, which she was seen filing earlier this month. is a woman with an addictive personality who relies on a selection of unusual vices. During filming for the new comedy series, she had her jewelry stolen from her trailer. A filming insider told The Sun, this was a very upsetting incident and everyone involved is shocked, but Sheridan is understandably very hurt. Fortunately, it wasn't hugely expensive items, or day-to-day -day things, but she had left them in her trailer for safety while filming in character and came back to find the place had been turned over. Last year she was told that she was lucky to be alive after she lost control of her Range Rover and plowed into a tree. She was driving the 100,000 pounds car during Storm Arwen in November when she swerved on a 90 degree bend. She was joined by her previous boyfriend Alex Lawler at the time, but both were unharmed in the crash other than for a few bruises and cuts. Do you enjoy reading about celebrities? Sign up for all the best celeb news from the mirror here. A neighbor told the son, Sheridan is so lucky to be alive. It could have been so much worse. Her car was stuck in the tree, it was a really bad crash. It could have been so much worse, she had cuts and bruises, but it could have been fatal. She was incredibly lucky. It was a brand new Range Rover, she hasn't had it long. It's almost a miracle she's not hurt herself more. WebCelebsAtMirror.co.2Core Call us direct 0207293033.